Hello, Kido. Sir E is here. And today, we will talk about how to compute the molar mass of a compound. <laughs> molar mass of a compound. It is also known as formula weight or molecular weight. And for us to determine this, we need two important data. And these are the number of atoms and the atomic mass, which is in grams. The number of atoms is based on the chemical formula, while the atomic mass, you have to check this in the periodic table of elements. Let's have example number one. We have here C6H12O6. This is the chemical formula for glucose. So how do we compute for the molar mass of glucose? Step number one, let us list down all the atoms or elements present in the compound. So we got here 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen, and 6 oxygen. The next step is you have to get your periodic table and check for their atomic masses. Afterwards, we have to multiply the number of atoms based on the formula to its atomic mass. For carbon, we will multiply it with 12.01 gram per mole. So therefore, it is equal to, you are right, 72.06 grams per mole. How about the hydrogen? Its atomic mass is, 1.01 gram per mole. And multiplying it with 12, the result is, yes, 12.12 .12 grams per mole. And lastly, the oxygen has an atomic mass of 16. And 16 times 6 is equal to, yes, 96 grams per mole. After computing for this, we have to add them up. Therefore, the molar mass of glucose is very good. You got it right. 180.18 grams per mole. Let's proceed to example number two. How about for compounds that are having parentheses just like this one? BE3PO42. We name it as beryllium phosphate. Same procedure will be done. We will list down all the elements present in the chemical formula. So we got three atoms of beryllium. But how about those atoms or elements inside the parentheses? So we have to multiply 2 to them. So 2 times 1 for phosphorus, it is 2. Then 2 times 4 to oxygen, so the result is 8. And we will check their atomic masses. For beryllium, we have 9.01. Multiplying it by 3, the result is 27.03. For phosphorus, its atomic mass is 30.37. And multiplying it by 2, it's equal to 60.74. And lastly, for the oxygen, 16 multiplied by 8, 
it is equal to yes you're right 128 grams per mole again we have to add them up get your calculator and compute for the molar mass of beryllium phosphate what is the result good job it is 215.77 grams per mole and that is the molar mass of beryllium phosphate isn't it that simple you can do it and for now thank you for watching and enjoy learning bye bye and god bless thanks for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs>